How does thermal energy affect pure substances? Let's find out. Well, what is thermal energy, first of all? I think we really need to start there. So thermal energy is the energy due to the movement of molecules and atoms. So how, how are the particles moving? What is temperature? Let's review this, you should know it, but it's a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles. So kinetic energy is motion. So when particles are at a low temperature, they're moving more slowly than they are at a high temperature. Something that is important to understand about thermal energy. Remember, it's the energy associated with the motion of the particles. So if we have ice in a cube and ice in a glacier, although they may be at the same temperature, zero degrees Celsius, the glacier has more thermal energy because it has more particles moving. It has a larger mass. Okay, let's do a quick review of the states of matter. So you can see we have solid where the particles are just vibrating. We have a liquid where the particles are able to slide past each other. And we have a gas where the particles are gonna move in a way to completely fill their container. So particles in different states of matter move differently and they have different intermolecular forces. So in a solid, those intermolecular forces are the strongest, holding those particles close to each other so that they're only allowed to vibrate. In a liquid, the intermolecular forces are weaker so those particles are able to slide past each other. And in a gas, those intermolecular forces are even weaker, allowing those particles to spread out and fill the container. So if all other conditions were equal, gas particles would always have more thermal energy. That's assuming same substance, same temperature, same pressure. So all other conditions equal in a gas, there is more thermal energy. So what happens when we add or remove heat and change the thermal energy. Let's find out. Right now you can see particles in a solid. You can see those particles are vibrating and they have strong intermolecular forces holding them connected to each other. As we increase the temperature, okay, you can see that now the particles begin moving faster, which means the thermal energy is increasing. If we continue to increase the temperature, you can see that some particles will be able to break freer of those intermolecular forces and we begin to have a change of state where we no longer have particles just vibrating. We have particles that are able to slide past one another in a liquid state. Okay, so you can see the particles are a lot freer, able to move faster. The thermal energy is increasing. As we continue to increase the temperature, you can see that the particles are more and more able to break free of those intermolecular forces and it causes a change of state, okay? So if that thermal energy, if those the motion of the particles is great enough, it will be able to overcome those intermolecular forces and allow a change of state. As we decrease the temperature, you can see that the motion of the particles slows down. Their kinetic energy decreases, the thermal energy decreases, and now the motion of those particles is no longer enough to overcome the intermolecular forces. And there you have it, how thermal energy affects pure substances.